So I don't like fitness. I run a company that's a hundred people. Do you know how difficult that is? So then, uh, then, then Jesse came to me and said, you know, it's actually not that complicated. I want to take you on a six month journey and I want to help you get fit. If you do all these four things religiously, like it's a religion, it is possible to change. It is possible to get a six pack. It is possible to get that vein. It is possible. Young kids, everybody, how are you? What the hell is this drone doing here? <laughs> who's, <laughs> who's operating the drone? Anyway, <laughs> um, everybody, I want to chat real quick, just for 10 minutes. Can you put up the slides? Somebody just put up the slides. Uh, and where is the where's the thing? Where's the computer? Where can I? Uh... Ah, there we go. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, back, 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 back. Okay. So I'll just give you a ten-minute background on sort of the story of Nas dating, and then um, and then I'll chat with JC after this. Okay. So I don't like fitness, and it's not for me. You know, this is how my calendar looks like. Every single day, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, for the last seven years, all I care about is work. Work is king. Everything else doesn't matter. And so, of course, going to the gym makes no sense. Also, I run a company that's a hundred people. Do you know how difficult that is? One-on-ones, meetings, leads meetings, Monday meetings, you know, product meetings, design meetings, content meetings. There's a lot of meetings. This is more important than working out. This is more important than any gym. I also make a lot of videos. We go around the world. We travel once a week, once a week to go to some country around the world to make videos. And uh, we have to manage a community. You know, building an audience of 65 million people takes a lot of time, but it also takes a lot more time to maintain it, to maintain the audience, create that content. It's a full-time job. And also I eat a lot. I love eating. And so pasta, pizza, it's, it's a lot of fun to eat, especially when you're working so much. And the biggest problem, I don't eat meat. I don't eat meat. I don't eat fish. I don't eat chicken. And I haven't done that for four years. And so everything about life is just my life is the opposite of your life. You know, it's, and, and you know, my focus is on the videos and the company and I, and I don't eat healthy stuff and I don't eat the protein. So naturally uh, coming to I've a bodybuilding competition, yeah. you know, this is the first time in my life. This is the first time in my life. Yeah. Uh, so people that look like me can never look like that. We could never be, I could never be JC. You could never be JC. You could never be JC. JC feels like a God. You know, it's like, it's impossible. It is impossible to reach, which is inspiring. Yes, yes, impossible. So then, uh, then, then JC came to me and said, you know, it's actually not that complicated. I want to take you on a six month journey and I want to help you get fit. At first I was like, who is this guy? And then I was like, why not? Let's try. Let's try. What, how can you convince me to become fit? And I tried many times to get fit. I just didn't know how to do it. I'm always confused. Do I eat pasta or do I not? And what is a carbohydrate? I don't even know what a carb is. I don't know what a fat is. I don't know what a protein is. I don't know what a hundred grams is. I am like an idiot when it comes to this stuff. So he said, look, we'll just simplify as much as possible. As you know, Nas Daily is all about simple videos. So I said, okay, I love making simple videos. Can you make fitness simple? And he said, yes, I can. 
It's just four words. Sleep, water, food, workout. That's it. Sleep, eight hours per day. And I was like, you know what? I think it's possible. I'm at six and a half now, six and a half hours. I'm trying, I'm still trying, but I will sleep more. Sure, that's easy. Then he said, just drink four liters of water. And I was like, okay, that's easy. Let's do it. Drinking water. I mean, who can't do that? Everybody can do that. And then he said, eat 2000 calories. So I said, okay, let's just do that. I'll eat the same thing every day. And this thing is roughly 2000 calories. So that was my hack. I don't do calorie counting. I was like, I wear the same t-shirt and I eat the same thing. And I just do the same thing every day. I love that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to eat the same thing for six months. And then I'm going to eat a lot of protein. And, and I committed to eating so much protein that I get 170 grams every single day. Those are the products I travel with. When I go to Mongolia, I take my protein water with me. There is no protein water in Mongolia. When I come to India, I take my Greek yogurt with me, 0% fat. I started to ship my food. That's how seriously I took this. And luckily I have an amazing assistant that helps me do that as well. So, so literally ship my food, watch my uh, sleep and eat the same thing every day. And also commit, 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 commit to one hour of exercise at least five times a week. Never miss a workout, no matter what happens, even if you're sick. Even if you're flying, even if you have a summit, even if you have work, commit to one workout. And my only, my only ask from JC was no gym. I don't want to go to the gym. I hate gyms and I don't have a gym when I'm traveling all the time. So I get, I need to be able to do this workout anywhere around the world. And so we worked out in the mountains in the deserts in living rooms, wherever I almost worked out at an airport, but I committed and I did this every single day. Never missed a day, never cheated. You should never cheat on your boyfriend or girlfriend and you should never cheat on your food and you should never cheat on your workout. So no cheating. That was my number one rule. No matter what happens, no cheat meals, no cheat days, no sick days. If you do all these four things religiously, like it's a religion, it is possible to change. It is possible to get a six pack. It is possible to get that vein. It is possible. And so for the first time in my life, I know how my body looks like. I know the structure of my abs. I never knew that six months ago. And so this has been an incredible experience. And it's not just about looking good. Everybody says, Oh, Nas Devi, you're single. That's why you're doing this. I am single, but that's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because it's also good for my health. For the first time in my life, I can run for 25 minutes without worrying. I can, my VO2 max is 55. I don't know if you know what that means, but for the first time in my life, I can go up the stairs, no problem. I can play tennis, no problem. I can walk all day, no problem. I can hike a mountain, no problem. Before this, I didn't enjoy that. And my body fat percentage went from 21 to 10. And, you know, I'd like to keep it at 10. So now this is my new goal, to stay at 10% at least for the next nine years until I'm 40. So this is my new goal. My twenties, I messed up from 20 to 30. I was an idiot, but in my thirties, I'm going to be smart about what goes inside my body because your body and my body is like a temple. So for my 30 until 40, no Coke, no sugar water, no Sprite, 
no meat, uh, uh, just nothing unhealthy. And really, if you treat your body like a temple, and if you commit to giving your body exactly what it needs, not more, not less, our bodies are designed for 2,000 calories for the last 2,000 years. Our bodies are not designed for fucking McDonald's. Sorry for cursing. Our bodies are not designed for the restaurants. Our bodies are not designed for balls. Our bodies are not designed for the last 50 years of, 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 of you know, capitalism. And so for the last 2,000 years, my body wants 2,000 calories, I will give it 2,000 calories. It's as simple as that. And that is how I was able to be here and talking to you guys on stage. So thank you, JC. Above all, where's JC? Uh, go. Above all, this entire experience is six months, but it felt like six years. JC, I hate you so much for forcing me to do this, but also I love you so much. And he has become a friend. Every single day we would call for one hour. I talked to JC in this process more than I talked to my girlfriend or ex-girlfriend. Um, and and uh, I think it's the best part of this, JC, is that we became friends. So thank you so much, man. <laughs> well, uh, what can I say? Look, I'm not sure if you guys saw the video that he made about federal community in uh, January 2023. Came to India and we were all sitting uh, in here. Do you remember the hotel? And I just pitched this simple idea. So, sir, we ought to make you fit, you know. And he was like, ah, it's too difficult. I travel, the same thing. Yeah, exactly. But a lot more. So, he's like, nah, I don't think I can do that. Besides, I'm vegetarian. I've been doing training for two years. I've been doing training for two years. It's not going to work for me. I was like, just give it a try. And then, everything went cold. We were in touch. Different things happened, but... One fine day, he was probably in Paris, gives me a call. Uh, was it a call or a message? Yeah, it, oh. was, it was a call. Yeah, he calls me and he says, JC, let's do it. <laughs> I'm like, sure. So, you know, in January, going from, I don't think I can do it, to giving me a call and said, let's do it, to now finally you've done it. What was the thought process? How easy, difficult, what was going to be mine?